In this video, we are going to be covering for loops, for each loops, and while loops in C++, and kind of giving you examples of ways that you would use them. Now, inside of Unreal Engine, you commonly won't see a while loop being put into place unless it is specific or running on its own thread doing something. And I can't really give you a good example of what that might be, but primarily you will probably be using for loops and for each loops. Now we can go ahead and begin on how to do that. And I'm gonna start off with a simple for loop first, and then we're gonna move on to a for each and then a while loop. So let's begin with the for loop. Now, something you might use a for loop for would be a shotgun. So instead of using, I don't know, let's say we have a shotgun and we have two different ammo types, one being buckshot, one being birdshot. Let's say the buckshot has four pellets inside. And let's say the birdshot has, I don't know, we'll round that out to an even hundred pellets inside. And I don't know what shot would have that, but in that case, we would want to use a for loop for whenever we're firing. So let's say we're using line traces, you know, just sending out a line and seeing if that line hits something. And that uses, well, that acts as our projectile. Well, we would want to have several of these go off for a shotgun because we don't have just one shot. We're not firing slugs. We're either firing birdshot or buckshot, you know, in our case. So we would use a for loop to do the exact same thing several times, but with slight differences. So what we can do here, I can actually show you, eh, I'm going to skip that for now. But I actually recently helped someone with this, and they were trying to make a shotgun, so that's why I'm using this example. When the shot goes off, he's using line traces. We used a for loop to send off four different line traces, and we used the for loop as well to kind of randomize the rotation at which the line trace was going. So that acted as a project, like a spread. So it opened up the shot. It wasn't all just, you know, four different lines in the inside of one another. They actually varied out and gave a spread. So the syntax for for loop is for, inside of parentheses, you would do the variable that you're using. So in my case, I just make one. So int x equals zero. Then we want to have our condition for when we want the for loop to run. So in my case, I'm gonna do, let's actually change this to i, cause that's mostly pretty common. So the condition for my case, I want it to be if i is less than four, I want the for loop to run. Once i hits four, I want the for loop to stop. So it's gonna be zero, one, two, three. So it's gonna run four times total. And then I want to increment i, which you can do in C++ by just doing plus plus, then the variable or the variable plus plus. So then we just have our opening and closing braces. Now, let's see how we want to do this. In my case, I'm just going to print out something. So I'm going to print out the variable i. So let's do i value and the syntax to print out of value in uh, C++ for C out is just simply less than less than and then i and then we're also going to do less than less than std endl for end line. So this will print out the value of i as we go through the for loop. So let's run it. Prints out 0, 1, 2, and 3. So it's running four times, and then we end up out here. For loop is done. Just like so. And that's kind of the gist of a for loop. It, it's like a controlled loop. It runs based off of your condition. So that's kind of how we would do this. So if we wanted 
like I was saying, like a shotgun, for example, if you wanted to print out, you know, fire projectile, this would fire four, what would call fire projectile four times, which you can assume from the name, would fire out four different projectiles. And that's kind of how you would go about using a normal for loop. Now, there's also the for each loop, which has different syntax, and it is commonly, well, it's used with arrays. So, in Unreal Engine, we have T array, which I probably have somewhere. Yes, I do in my character. Uh, let me find it real quick. Okay, it's in the other one. Um, character base. Ah, here it is. T array. So it's a T array, then the variable, and then the name. So in C++, we use vectors commonly, and that's kind of like, think of it like a T array is C++, or a T array is Unreal Engine's version of a vector. So to do that, we just include vector. And let's create an array. So that is std vector. Vector is a template, and I'll explain what templates are here in a second. Uh, we're just going to do an array of integers. My array. And let's set that to equal 0, 5, 2, 30, 45. That'll work. And now we want to loop through this array here. And it's the exact same thing with T arrays. Use them in the same way. So what we're going to do here is for remember then it's the type. So integer my value colon then the array that you're trying to loop through which is my array. Let me just change that to for each. So this is a for each loop in C++. Now my value pertains to each one of these values here. So if I print them out, so value, my value, let me just end the line, you will see they all got printed out. So 0, 5, 2, 30, 10, 45. So it ran through this one, two, three, four, five, six total times. It essentially runs through and goes through each single element of the array. Now arrays were something that I forgot to talk about in the first video, but you can think of an array as a, a box that contains a bunch of variables. Now I mentioned I'd explain quickly what templates are. Templates are, to think of template like a type, so vectors are templates. So they take in several different types. So we could change this to a float, jar, double, string, whatever. In my case here I'm using the T array to hold an array of classes and that also works. So it can be kind of whatever type you can really come up with. That's what it will hold. So this will work with the char as well. Like so, because remember, if you recall from the first video, a char ranges from negative 127 to positive, it's either 127 or 126, depending on the case, I can't exactly remember, and an unsigned char would be 0 to 255 and that kind of thing. So if I had, let's do 1000, we're going to probably have an issue here. Well, actually it already tells us here in the compiler. So we can't do anything. It doesn't let us to run. So element 7 from int to whatever that's supposed to be requires an error conversion. We have to cast it if we wanted to use it. Which in our case we, we really can't. So that's how you use for each loops. Those you will be using a lot probably inside of Unreal Engine. Now we can move on to while loops which you will not probably not be touching that often and probably not want to use unless you're spawning it inside of your own thread to 
to prevent locking anything up. Now, a while loop, very similar to a for or an if statement inside of syntax. So we just do while. Then inside of here, we have our condition and then our opening and closing braces. Now a while runs off of a condition, just like an if statement. So if something is false, it will not run the while loop. If it's true, it will. So we're going to use a boolean for this example. b my boolean equals false. And we're going to use my boolean as the condition for the while loop. Now I only you don't need to put a b in front of your booleans. I just do that out of it kind of indicates that hey this variable is a boolean. It's it's just common to me. So here we have b my boolean being the condition, so I want to print out something in here inside while loop and run it. And nothing's going to happen. Let me change this to while. But as you saw, it just printed out this statement. It did not run this at all because you have our condition here, just like our if statement explanation and this video number two right before this one. So if I set this to true, it's going to keep spamming and spamming all through this, and it's never going to quit until we set it to false. So here you would want a way to break out of this loop. So we would use a, let's just do an instr for example, and we'll increment it. So int my variable equals zero. Let's increase this. So let's increment my variable by one each time the while loop runs. And then we're going to do a check. So if my variable is greater than 500,000, we want to break just like we did with the switch statement. So a break, as you will see here in a second, but once we hit 500,000, if it ever does, it shouldn't take this long. Good grief. There we go. That took actually a surprising while. I noticed printing out to the console is pretty slow. But it printed out, well, it pretty much kept running until we broke out of the loop by using this check here. So if my variable is greater than 500,000, we want a break. So we jump out of the loop and you know, we no longer want to be inside of here. Let's continue and we'll run to, you know, whatever else we have here in the code, which in our case, it's printing out while loop is done. So we can also do this exact same thing, but inside of the condition here. So let's remove it. And for the check, we're going to replace if or be my boolean with my variable is greater than let's do 100,000 instead and simply increment it just like before now it's going to run 100,000 times oh sorry while my variable is less than 100,000 we will run it so as you can see, it printed it out 999 or 99,000 whatever times. And then it jumped out because this is just like an if statement that is constantly being checked. So every time this while loop runs, the condition in here gets checked. So every time it would run, my variable is less than 100,000. If it's true, keep running. I mean, sorry, if it's false, keep running this. If it's true, Sorry, I got those backwards. If it's true, keep running this. If it's false, jump out and keep going with the rest of the code. And that's all there really is to while loops. Now there's also do whiles, which similarly, um, so I'll explain here in a second. Let me actually, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So do, whoops. So here we have a do while. And let me do an example here. I'm going to do false. And I want to do false. 
So this condition is going to fail and it's not going to want to run the code here. And this condition is going to fail as well because we're doing false. So it shouldn't really run. However, do whiles will always run the first time. So for example, we have our printouts inside do while loop, inside while loop, and while loops are done. So let's see. The do while ran once because it's going to run everything on here first and then it's going to check the condition. It's going to see that the condition is false, so it's going to skip it. Then we're going to move to the while loop, which checks the condition first and sees that it's false. In which case, it jumps right out and says, hey, it's false, let's not run any of this. Whereas the do while does run it once. And then we're just going to be done. And that's all. So that's how you have a for each, a for loop, and a while loop, and a do while loop, all set up to kind of handle whatever you really need to use. So that's the basic way to use it. And same thing, you can have several conditions in here. So if false or true, for example, which is stupid to compare, it's going to always be true. You can't do if false and true, but just for example, you can do anything that you did with an if statement inside of the condition of a while loop. Uh, hopefully that kind of made some sense here and will allow it because like I said you're going to be using these a lot inside of Unreal Engine and I'm sure we're going to be using a for each loop and a for loop in this series as well just for the beginner portion. So hopefully that kind of made like I said hopefully it made sense and if not uh, feel free to leave a comment or join my discord that's linked below and I will try to help you out. And as usual, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below, as well as you can find a link to my Discord server if you have any questions that you want to ask. So, I will see you in the next video. Take care.